Hi, today I would like to give you some tips on how to find the correct location of the birthplace of your ancestors. In quite many cases, there is more than one place in Poland with the same name, and today we will show you some tools that can be useful in finding the correct one. A great website to see how many places there are in Poland with the name of your interest is mapaszukacz.pl or pilot.pl and as previously we will link all the sources in the description of the video. So here is a browser in which we type the name of the village or the town that interests us and let's say that your grandfather came from the village of Rzeczyca. We click enter and we have the results and here it tells us that there are 30 places in Poland with the name of Rzeczyca. So how to narrow down which one of them is the correct one? Well, immigration and post-immigration records, such as census records or ship manifests, should be helpful in this case. If created prior to 1918, they should list the country of the origins of your ancestors as Germany, Russia or Austria. This limits the results to a particular partition of Poland. And here we have a map of Europe's borders in 1914, before the First World War. Um, this is not the most detailed map ever, but it can give you an insight on how Poland was divided between the mentioned states Germany, Russia and Austria. You can find more detailed maps in this topic on our forum, which will also be linked in the description. For now, let's come back to the previous map. and. As a side note, very often the immigration and post-immigration records can be vague and have only a general clue on where did your family come from. So instead of naming the correct and specific birthplace, a name of a larger city in the region is given, such as Warsaw or Posen or Vilna. And very often this means that this was a seat of the administrative unit to which the village belonged. So, when your grandmother is listed as coming from Posen, this doesn't necessarily mean she came from the city itself, but it can mean she came from the province of Posen, or if she was from Vilna, then from the province of Vilna. If you only have a name of a large city, it would be crucial to obtain as much documents as possible, the census records, ship manifests, naturalization records, World War draft cards, also any metrical records from the country to which they emigrated, such as their marriage or death records, or birth certificates of their children. All of these can help in finding a more detailed location of your ancestor's birthplace. Of course, we should not forget to interview our other members of family, most importantly the older ones, as they might remember important details that will help us in our research. Let's come back to Rzeczyca. So let's say that we have obtained the ship manifest of your grandfather, Józef Bryczek, and his travel to the United States. So in the manifest, we can see that he came from Rzeczyca, but we also have a clue that he came from the Russian partition of Poland. So this significantly narrows down our area of research. So now we can exclude all the places named Zuczyca that are located in the western and in the southern part of Poland. However, as we can see, there is still quite a few of places named Zuczyca that are located in the former Russian partition of Poland. So how to proceed further? If you are still not sure where exactly your ancestral village is located, you can check the geographical distribution of the surname of your interest on the website nazwiskapolskie.pl. And here is a browser, again, in which you type the surname that interests us. So in this case, Bryczek, and we click Snajd. And here we have the results, the distribution of the surname on the modern map of Poland. And here we have the list of the places where people with the surname Bryczek currently live. So now we run a search on the website by clicking Ctrl and F and typing 
Zhejitsa. We click enter and here we have information that there are three places in Poland named Zhejitsa in which people with the surname of our interest live. So we browse the list here and here we have the first Rzeczyca Księża marked. If we click here, it will take us to its location. So the first place is Rzeczyca Księża. Then we have Rzeczyca Ziemiańska and Rzeczyca Ziemiańska Kolonia. So as we can see, all these places are very easy to pronounce. Now let's come back to the previous map. So as we can see here, one of these places is listed and when we will click Vibiesz it will take us to its direct location and as we can see Rzeczyca Ziemiańska, Rzeczyca Ziemiańska Kolonia and Rzeczyca Księża are all next to each other. This means that this is basically the same village that has been divided into different sections during its history. So by locating to which partition our village belonged and analyzing where does the surname currently occur, we have progressed our research. Of course, we still do not have any hard evidence, but at least we came up with a theory and can establish a plan how to proceed further. In our previous video, we showed you how to check to which parish the village of your interest belonged and therefore where the vital records of your family were stored. Of course, these two tools that we showed you today apply only to the modern territory of Poland. Establishing uh, the location of places that were a part of historical Poland in its eastern borderlands is a bit more difficult and we will focus our next video on it. This is it for today. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions for topics we should talk about, please write them down in the comments. Have a great day and good luck with your research.